Zara. Thanks for joining us today on It's Academic. Let's get to our opening round. We start our teams out with 100 points in this opening round. Teams, 10 points for each correct answer, 10 points off should you miss. Our category is 90 years ago in 1926. Current events are important, but let's see what you know about the events of 1926, 90 years ago. We begin. At auction, $106,000 was paid for a Bible by this early German printer. Howard Gutenberg. Gutenberg. Gutenberg is no, absolute. No, Gutenberg. Gutenberg, yes. We continue. Next. The incumbent U.S. president 90 years ago was this taciturn Republican. Howard. What you got? Coolidge. Coolidge it is, yes. The first liquid fuel rocket was fired by this father of rocketry. Yeah, Southern. Von Braun. Uh, Robert Goddard was his name. Robert Goddard. Good try. Stores carried the first recordings of this jazz musician nicknamed Duke. Howard. Ellington. Ellington. Duke Ellington is right. Yes. Next. 90 years ago, the new emperor of Japan was this man on the throne in world... Yes, Southern. Hirohito? Hirohito. Uh, Hirohito. That is right, Andrew. Next. Death came to this socialist who had run several times for president. Uh, Howard. Uh, Brian? Yeah. Brian. Uh, Eugene V. Debs was the answer there. Next. In Turkey, polygamy was outlawed by order of this first president. Howard? Atatürk. Atatürk it is, yes. And lastly, this Englishman wrote Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, Southern. A mine. Say it again. A mine. Milne. A A Milne was the right answer. Good try. That's the end of the opening round on It's Academic. It's Academic with David Chan. It's Academic brought to you by Giant. New things are happening at Giant. And by Morgan State University. Growing the future, leading the world. So nice to have you here on It's Academic. Thanks for spending part of your day with us. We've got a great crowd out there. We've got a rather intimidating looking lion there in the front row. And we've got nine great players here today. Let's meet the first three of them from Francis Scott Key, all new to our program. David, I know you were an alternate before, but first time on set. Nathan, welcome. Tell us a little about yourself. My name is Nathan Fritz. I go to Francis Scott Key. As well as being part of our academic challenge club, I'm also in the National Honor Society marching band and run cross country. A busy guy, scholar, athlete, musician. Nice to have you with us. Ethan. Hi, everybody. I'm Ethan Brown. Uh, in addition to Academic Challenge, I'm involved in the band and drama programs at FSK. Uh, and uh, I'm a junior, and I want to thank our alternate Cody and our team for coming out to support us today. Absolutely. Thanks for thanking the alternate, because an integral part of this team here. David, welcome. Hi, I'm David. Um, I would like to thank our family and friends for coming out here. And also, I, um, I'm in the astronomy club, and I'm also in the marching band. Wonderful. What instrument do you play, Dave? Trumpet. Trumpet. And you're a senior, correct? Yes. Wonderful. All right. These questions are just for you, Key. Look at your monitor. 20 points, no penalties. We begin. Using one word from each column, you can name what site where the opening shots of the Civil War were fired. Fort Sumter. Fort Sumter is right. Money. Add one letter to this word, and you'll get what animal that nicknames the 1925 Scopes trial. Monkey. Monkey is right. Mount Nebo and Mount Pisgah. These two names are associated with the mountain where Moses first saw the promised land. What name identifies the mountain where Moses received the Ten Commandments? Sinai. That's it. Here's a choice among piranha, anaconda, and tarantula. After the Battle of Gettysburg, the North adopted a war policy in for which of these creatures which squeezes its victims to death? Anaconda. Right. And lastly, I never drink wine. This bit of dialogue came from a 1931 mus uh, movie version of what Bram Stoker novel about a vampire from Transylvania? Dracula. Absolutely. Good round for FSK. Good. 200 points. They made it look easy. Nice way to start the game. We move to Howard, and we welcome Joe and Matthew and Alec. All of you here for the first time. And... Uh, Nice to have you here. Joe, tell us the Joe story. Well, I'm Joe Fusco. I'm a senior at Howard. And in addition to its academic, I'm a Mesa team captain. And I'd like to thank our alternates, which I have a list of. We have 
So, Matthew, a second one. Jeff, Grace, Philip, who is our lion, extra special thanks. Manav, Chelsea, Vaughn, Deanna, Ahmad, Chris, Michael, and Rachel. Wow, that's, you've got a couple shadow teams uh, in the waiting out yeah. there, don't you? Well, it's a, a very important club out there at Howard, and I understand the lion is played by someone for whom it's a family tradition. Oh, yes, yes. Philip because is, uh, his older. sister played the lion before, is that right? Yes. Wonderful. Matthew, tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Matthew Colby. I run cross country, and I am part of my school's choir. I would like to thank all uh, my parents and all coaches, John Gilbert and Catherine Bladon. Absolutely, and we'll see Mr. Gilbert in a few moments, a prize-winning coach. He got the Sophie Altman Coach of the Year, the first one here that we ever gave out. Alex, welcome to you. Hi, I'm Alec. I'm a junior at Howard High School. Besides this academic, I like to play the bass and fence, and I'd just like to thank our teachers and administration, especially Mr. Novak. Uh, he appreciates that. Thanks, Alec. All right, gentlemen, these are for you. Look at your monitor. No penalties. 20 points if you get them. Choose one word from each column you see here to name what 19th century doctrine stating that the U.S. had the right to extend its territory across the continent to the Pacific Ocean. Manifest destiny. Yes, sir. June. June is the sixth month of the year, but if you change one letter, you'll get the name of what ancient Roman goddess, the wife of Jupiter? Uh, Juno. Juno is right. Here's a choice among chimpanzee, weasel, and pig. Which one of these animals is a primate? Chimpanzee. Yes, sir. Hungary and Honduras. Here you see two of the three H-initialed countries that belong to the United Nations. Not listed is what Caribbean country on the island of Hispaniola. Haiti. Yes, sir. And lastly, do not run a campaign that would embarrass your mother. This advice to political candidates was delivered by a senator from what Appalachian state whose capital is Charleston? West Virginia. West Virginia. West Virginia. Nicely done, Howard. <laughs> Next year, 210. to our third team and they hail from Southern High School and it's a sense of deja vu. The exact same team was here last year. It's nice to see all you guys back. Straight A's here. All of you are A's. Andrew, Alexis, and Austin. Andrew, tell us about yourself. Uh, my name is Andrew Cheater. Um, in addition to its academic, I run on the cross country team. I'm a part of a uh, chemistry club, uh, math team, uh, mock trial, and uh, model UN. Um, in addition, I'd like to thank our uh, coach, Mr. Nally, and uh, our uh, Principal, uh, Dr. Hamlin. Wonderful. We'll meet those gentlemen in just a few moments here. You're a busy guy. Thanks for fitting us into your schedule here. Alexis. Uh, my name is Alexis Gaskin, and I am a senior at Southern High School as well. Besides this academic, I am a part of the book club, chemistry club, and drama company. And I would like to thank our alternate, Sarah Bailey, for being here with us. Yeah, Sarah was waiting for you to say her name. Thank you, Alexis. <laughs> Important part of the team. Austin, tell us about uh, yourself. My name is Austin Starnes. I'm a senior at Southern High School. In addition to the It's Academic team, I'm also in National Honor Society, marching band, and other band things, and I'm co-captain of the math team. And I'd like to thank our community members and parents for coming and supporting us. They appreciate that mention. You're also a very busy guy. <laughs> All right, Southern, these are yours. Look at the monitor, please. Select one word from each column you see here, and you can get what nickname given to the historic ship, the USS Constitution? Old Ironsides. Old Ironsides? Yes, ma'am. Form, F-O-R-M. By inserting one letter into this word, you can change it into what public square where official business took place in ancient Rome? Forum. Forum. Forum is right. Rotterdam and The Hague. Here are two of the three most populous cities in the Netherlands. Missing is what largest city the country's official capital? Amsterdam. Amsterdam. That is correct. Here's a choice among Lexington, Worcester, and Springfield. The opening battle of the Revolutionary War took place in which of these Massachusetts towns? Lexington. Lexington. Lexington it is. Thank you, Andrew, for your assist there. <laughs> Next, one of the most fascinating women in history. This is how one historian referred to what ancient Egyptian queen who fascinated both Mark Anthony and Julius Caesar. Cleopatra. Absolutely right. Nicely done, Southern. <laughs> Takes you to 190. academic before we go on let's tell you about what 
everybody is taking home. One of our teams is going on in the competition, but nobody goes home empty-handed. That's because the Baltimore Orioles are once again proud to support its academic, and we'll be providing tickets next season for all of today's competing students. You know, celebrating the success of our young people makes us all fans. Find out more about the Orioles' involvement in education and the, in the lives of youth in our community. Why don't you visit them at OriolesReach.com. Before you head out to that ballpark, why don't you check us out on the It's Academic Facebook page. Let's check that score. A tight game right now. Francis Scott Key at 200. Howard at 210. And Southern at 190. Well played, everyone. We move next to the picture perfect round. There's a picture with each question everybody plays. 20 points for each correct answer. 20 points off should you miss. Team's first picture coming into view. This is a detail of an 18th century painting titled, A Sporting Contest on What River That Runs Through Rome? Howard. The Tybal? Tybal? Tiber, it is, yes. Next, hard at work here is what mythical figure who always had plenty to do as the classical god of metalworking? Yes, Howard. Hephaestus. Hephaestus or Vulcan, yes sir, well done. Next, one of the world's endangered species, the squirrel monkey, is native to what Central American country where San Jose is the capital? Yes, Southern. Uh, it's Costa Rica. Costa Rica, you got that right, Andrew. Next, what is the length of the diagonal if the side of a square? Howard. A times a square root of two. Wait. Gentlemen, what do you have? A square root of two. Indeed. Well done. Next, this William Henry Jackson painting shows pioneer wagons heading for what main tributary of the Mississippi River? Howard. Missouri. Missouri. Yeah. Missouri. Missouri River it is. Yes, sir. Next, a scallop shell like this one appeared in the coat of arms of what World War II British Prime Minister? Churchill. Howard. Churchill. Churchill it is. Yes. Tame Peter. Tame this anagram by rearranging its letters to get what pleasant climate zone in which we live. Kentucky. Howard. Temperate. Temperate is right in the last picture coming up. This crew is on the scaffolding of what bridge that crosses New York's East River and was the first steel wire suspension bridge? Yes, Southern. Brooklyn Bridge. It is the Brooklyn Bridge indeed, Alexis. And that's the end of the picture perfect round. To honor the memory of its academic creator and producer, Sophie Altman, we are presenting the 2016 Sophie Altman Coach of the Year Award. Established by Giant Food, the award is a tribute to all its academic coaches. To learn how to nominate your coach, check our website, itsacademicquizshow.com. Speaking of outstanding coaches, we have some in the studio now, along with some of the administrators from our three fine schools. Let's go first to Francis Scott Key, currently with 200 points. And Ethan, would you do the honors? Who's back there? Uh, to my right is our lovely advisor, Miss Christina Barnold. Uh, in addition to coaching our team, she's also a science teacher at FSK. Uh, and to my left is our principal, Mr. John Bogger. Uh, he came out to support us today. Lovely guy, too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you both for being here today and all the support you give this team. We move next to Howard, currently in the lead with 330 points and some familiar faces back there. Matthew, would you tell us who they are? To my right is Miss Bladon, all coach and chemistry teacher. Behind me is Miss Ol Gilbert, all coach. And to my left is Miss Ol Novak, all principal. Yeah, thank you all for everything you do for these young people and for being here today. And we move to Southern now with 230 points. And Alexis, uh, some familiar faces back there. Would you do the honors? So to my right is our principal, Dr. Hamlin. And to my left is our amazing coach, Mr. Nally. Wow, amazing. I like that. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here today and all your support. You know, in our next round of questioning, should our teams answer all eight questions correctly, we award them 25 bonus points. We light up lights, we release balloons, we make a big fuss, and Matthew, the lights are flashing in front of you right now. Uh, would I ask you, could I ask you to pick one of these packets, one, two, or three for FSK? Packet two. Packet two. All right. Nathan and Ethan and David, you can do this. Let's get them all. Here we go. In Longfellow's poem, Hiawatha, there is a spirit who assumes the form of what flat-tailed rodent noted for its ability to build dams? Beaver. Beaver is right. Political demonstrations aren't always peaceful. In 1970, protesters threw tear gas into what lower house of the British Parliament? What we got? House of Commons. House of Commons it is. Yes, sir. 
The year 1941 marked the completion of the four presidential faces on Mount Rushmore. Now the biggest tourist attraction in what state whose capital is Pierre? South Dakota. South Dakota. Thank you, Dave, for your assistance. Look at your monitor, gentlemen. Science question. Calcite, hornblende, or quartz? Underground caverns occur in strata where mineral composition is primarily which of these? Quartz. 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 Calcite was the right answer there. Next, in ancient Rome, a family's hearth was guarded by the goddess Vesta, but the door of their home was watched over by what two-faced god? What we got? Jason? Uh, Janus. Janus. It came close on that. Next. Joseph Stalin was sometimes called Uncle Joe. But what two-word familial name did George Orwell give his fictional dictator in 1984? Big Brother. Got it. Math question, gentlemen. Look at your monitor. Simplify this expression for me, please. Negative 20y plus 11x. Indeed. Yes. And lastly, St. Valentine's Day was not pleasant in 1779 for what English explorer stabbed to death on that date by natives of the Hawaiian Islands he had just discovered? James Cook. James Cook. James Cook. Well done. That's the end of the round for Francis Scott Key. 320. Good round, but we couldn't give away those bonus points. It might happen for Howard. Alexis, one or three for Howard? Uh, three. Three it is. All right. Joe and Matthew and Alec, let's see if you can get all eight of these. The Arkansas River ends in Arkansas, but it begins in what Rocky Mountain state that's home to the Air Force Academy? Denver. Denver, Denver Colorado. Colorado. Colorado it is. You might illustrate a poem on immortality with a picture of what legendary bird that rises from its own ashes and now names the capital of Arizona. Phoenix. Yes, sir. In 1882, towns were forbidden to impose tolls along what New York State Canal that had been built in the 1820s? Erie Canal. Yes, indeed. Science question for you, gentlemen. On your monitor, mass number, prime number, or atomic number. The number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom is usually called which of these? Mass number. Mass number it is, yes. If you bought a set of royal Copenhagen plates in the country of their origin, you'd have purchased them in what Scandinavian country? Denmark. Right. You can read about the legendary magnetic mountain, not in a science text, but in what book of stories whose characters include Alibaba and Aladdin? Uh, a thousand and one names. A thousand and one nights. Absolutely right. Math question for you. On your monitor, What's the area of a triangle A, B, C in square inches if the base is 20 and the height is 10? 100. Absolutely. And I have 25 bonus points for you, Howard, if you get this. Saying that the eagle and not the ostrich was America's national symbol, what 28th president urged the country to join the League of Nations? Wilson. Absolutely right. 25 bonus points for Howard. Make a fuss. Balloons, lights, big smiles. Let's see if the same thing can happen for Southern. I have one packet left. Packet one and Andrew and Alexis in Austin. Let's do it. Let's get them all. A man born on October 24th, 1945 would be exactly the same age as what international peacekeeping organization headquartered in New York? United yeah, Nations. Yes, ma'am. In 1611, what English explorer was set adrift by his crew in the large icy Canadian bay that today bears his name. Hudson. That's right. Only when the temperature falls below minus 25 degrees do they close schools in what Minnesota capital city? Uh, St. Paul. St. Paul. St. Paul, indeed. Science question for you, Southern. East and east, south and north and south, or east and south? Mm -hmm. Two concurrent forces can produce a maximum force if they act in which of these ways? East and East. East and East is right. Sir William Herschel was a professional musician, practicing astronomy in his spare time when he discovered what planet seventh from the sun? Uranus. Absolutely right. Thank you, Andrew. Rags to riches is a classic literary device, but Mark Twain wrote about rags and riches in what novel about a boy named Tom Canty who changes places with a king's son? Prince of the Bomber. 
Prince and a Pauper. Prince and a Pauper is right. Math question for you, Southern. Of these three numbers, which one has the least value? Five to negative three. Five to negative three. Five to the three. And we come to that same juncture. 25 bonus points if you get this. The hospitality of the Aztecs was greatly abused by what Spanish conquistador who killed their emperor, destroyed their capital city, and looted their treasury? Cortez. Cortez. Correct answer is Hernando Cortez. 25 bonus points for Southern. Great job. Everyone at home should get ready for another year of Giants A-plus school rewards. You can earn points and help local schools every time you use your Giant card. Thanks to you, Giant has been able to award over $92 million to thousands of schools over the past 26 years and has already committed $2 million to this year's program. Signing up your Giant card is easy. Simply go to GiantFood.com or stop by the Customer Solutions Center at any Giant store. Then when you shop at Giant, you'll be a part of the magic of A-plus school rewards. Welcome back. It's academic. We head into the final round. The grab bag still a competitive game. Let's check that score right now. Francis got key 320. Howard 515 and Southern 415. Well played, everybody. In this last round, questions worth 20 points up or down. The visuals 30 up or down. Teams, good luck. We begin. Perhaps the notorious smog will lessen now that all buses run on alternative fuel in what largest California? Francis got key. What you got? Los Angeles. Los Angeles is right. The many misfortunes that beset Jean Valjean in Les Miserables began when he stole what food? Howard? Bread. Bread is right. According to a recent study, the most expensive place to live is what small city state at the tip of the Malay Peninsula. Howard? Singapore. Singapore. Singapore is right. Here's a 30-point question, everybody. Look at your monitor. When Franklin Roosevelt toured American bases in 1918, he was assistant secretary of which of our armed forces, which then had cabinet rank? Howard. Navy. Navy is right. The state of Louisiana has a town named for what pirate captain who helped Andrew Jackson? Jean Howard. Lafitte. Lafitte. Jean Lafitte is right. Yes. Pottery maker Josiah Wedgwood had his first success with a design based on a pattern created by what ancient pre-Roman people? Yes, Southern. Etruscan? Etruscan is right, Andrew. Next, of our first four American presidents, which one did not share his name with a British king? Francis Scott Key. What you got, guys? Adams. Uh, Jefferson, Thomas there, Thomas, 30 points. Look at your monitor. Lack of money is the root of all evil. This was the comment of what Anglo-Irish playwright, yes, Southern. Um, wild? No. Uh, good try. George Bernard Shaw. George Bernard Shaw was the answer. Next, Republicans today rarely mention what first Republican presidential candidate who ran and was defeated in 1856. His name was Fremont. Next, in 1772, petitioners asked King George III to discourage the importation of slaves to what American colony, later known as the Mother of Presidents? Well, Howard. Virginia. Virginia's right, yes. And that buzzer says, we've come to the end of our game. We'll be right back with the wrap-up. Don't go away.